In this video, we are going to continue with binomial expansion. You will find this on page 80 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to 6 c's. Expand each of the following. Okay, now let's start. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. So you can see all the small numbers. Okay. Okay. Now, what is different about this example is that I put now a 2 or a 3. It's now just, not just 1 and 1, but the principle stays the same. Okay, so this is 3, so I will still focus in this. So it's still going to be 1, 3, 3, 1. So 1, 3, 3, 1 in front of the bracket. And then I take the first term and it's to the power of 3. The first term to the power of 2, the first term 1, okay, nothing. Okay, and then this, I start with the second term, and that is going to, this is going to be 3y. It's not going to be there, but then it's going to be to the power of 1, to the power of 2, to the power of 3. And then I'm basically just work it out. It's positive, so all of them are positive. So this is where I get 8x to the power of 3. Um, this I can simplify, this is becoming 4 times 3, do you see? Times 3, uh, and that will be the 36, so you can multiply. But first, just always bring that exponent in, and that's what I did there. Before I start multiplying it out, and then I can multiply it out, and this is my final answer. Okay, if you look at this one, now I'm not at 4, I am now here. Okay. I'm now at, at 4, okay, so it's going to be 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 4, 1. And then, remember this is negative, so it starts positive, okay. Oh, uh, what I did, in this case, I took the negative in, so that's going to work. It will then automatically give you the positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Okay, so that is... That is, you can just take it in with the term. So this is to the power 4, 3, 2, 1, nothing. This is, I bring it in there. Do you see? It's negative 3 to the power 1. In the, 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 this is nothing. Then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. And then the terms will work out. And then I first bring this in. Okay. And then I multiply out and I get my answer. Okay. Let's look at number C. Now, luckily, there's a positive, okay, so all the terms will be positive, but let's start. So, we will first go for the, f uh, for the fifth row, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Okay, so I will first write 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and there's the 1. Okay, then I will take the first one, it's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then the second one, nothing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, always remember, first work out your exponents. So if I'm... So basically, I'm just going to say this is just 1, this is staying the same, this is 1, so or because it's 1, all of them will stay 1. But this one is 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. Okay, and if I simplify this, then I simplify, this is 10 over 4, which can become 5 over 2. This is 10 over 8, which can become 5 over 4. And this is 5 over 16, and this is 1 over 32. Okay, and th this is my final answer. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number B as well as number F. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Make it a bit smaller. Okay, now what I'm going to do in this sum, because always Pascal's triangle were given to you. But if it's not given to you and you want to do it with this method, then the best will just be quickly to create one. Okay, and I'm going to quickly create one to show you just how I created it. Remember it's a triangle and that's why 
but I don't even have to do so many rows. So let's just start. So this is one, and then you put a one and a one. Okay, so there's actually three ones. And then, then you start adding up, and it's ooh, my pen. Then it's two, and it's one, one. And then it's three, you add up the two on top, three, and you put your ones. And you're adding up four. This is, oh, let's just get that correct. Six, four, one, one. And this is five, ten, ten, five, one, one. And so you continue. So it's like a triangle. Now, just remember, this is to the power zero. Okay, so you call this is n is zero, the exponent. This n is then 1, n is 2, n is 3, n is 4, and n is 5. So start with 0, and then you go up. So if I'm giving you 1, for example, okay, we start with this one, number b. So it's going to be a plus 2b to the power of 3. Now it's in this one. It's actually the fourth one but it's this one so if i want to start it's always good to first write down your coefficients so i'm going to start by saying it's one three three one now the sign is positive so it's actually nice you can just then put your positive in front okay then i'm basically the first term okay and i'm going to to use different colors okay so the first term I'm just starting with the 3, and then 2, and then 1, and then nothing. The second term I'm, is nothing, and then it's 1. Oh, let's just get that pen correct. And then it's 2b, and then it's 2b3. And now I basically just simplify. So it's A3 plus, okay, now I, I prefer that you first multiply this in, but this is all right, this is already in, so it's 6 um, A2B plus. Now if you simplify, you can first write it like this, and in brackets still, 4B squared plus 2 times 2 times 2, it's 8 b to the power of 3. So if I simplify a3 plus 6 a square b plus 12 a b square plus 8 b to the power of 3. And that's my final answer. Let's look at number f. Okay, now M F looks like this, so it's A over 3 and there's a negative, but if you're going to work in brackets, the negative will automatically come out. You can just check the final then. Okay, so now I'm going to be F, um, 4, so I'm here. So if I want to write down my coefficients, it's going to be 1, you can say this plus 4, because I bring the sign in now, um, plus 6, oh, it's too far, plus 6, plus 4, plus 1. Okay, now as soon as I'm bringing my terms in, let's start with this one, the first one, so it's a over 3, and that's to the power of 4, and then it's a over 3 and it's to the power of 3 and then it's a over 3 and it's to the power of 2 and then it's a over 3 and it's to the power of 1 and nothing and now grab that sign if you were not bringing in the signs I'm going to make it yellow so it's nothing uh, first and then it's 1 and then it's 2 and then it's 3 and then it's 4 and then I simplify it further. Now, if this is going to be just, okay, 
So it's 8 to the power 4. 3 to the power of 4 will be 81. Plus, I'm just simplifying first, A3. 3 to the power of 3 is 27. Oh, I'm um, the negative B. Plus 6. Um, this will be A squared. And this will be 3 times 3, it's 9. And that's because it's even number, it will become positive P. Just want to move a little bit. Okay. Let's just go on. It was just a previous one, but the sound disappeared, so I had to redo it. Okay. But let's quickly look. So where am I? So this was 6. This is a squared 9. This is b squared. Plus 4. Okay. Uh, this will just, there's not the 9. It's just a over 3. And this is negative b to the power. This was b to the power of 2. This is b to the power of 3. Um, plus, and, and as soon as it's negative, it becomes positive. So do you see? If it was 1, negative, 2, positive, 3, negative, 4, positive. So all the even positive, all the rest, the, the odd negative. Okay, so this one, if I want to write it just, I can write it like this. Uh, oh, yes, my sign problem. Because a positive times a negative is negative 4 over 27 A3B. This is positive, but it's 6 over 9, so it can be div um, 6 dividing 2 over 3, and then it's a squared b squared. Okay, and this becomes a negative, so it's 4 over 3 a b3 plus b. Okay, now there's two, two things you have to control. Because of the negative, it is, the signs must alternate, so it's it's it starts positive, then negative, then positive, then negative, then positive. That worked out perfect. So, and then the exponents must add to 4. So it's 4, so it's 3 plus 1 is 4, it's 4, it's 4, it's 4. So my answer will be correct. This is a very new concept. So do as many, do all the whole exercise and even redo some of them so that it goes to your long-term memory.